Rob Holman with Northwest Fishing. I'm here with Wayne McGee, owner of Alaskan Trophy Adventures. Our guy Chad, we're headed to the Tidewater this morning. That's right, we're going after Chrome. Chrome, Coho, on the Alaknak River. Keep watching, it's gonna be a great show. Plugs are connected. It's a good sign. I guess I'm shotgun, Hillary. You want to? How do I get up there? I'll show you. There you go. Are you are you filming my stress? I'm filming <laughs> your stress, <laughs> really. Nobody can tell. Uh. I'm doing great now. Uh. I'm doing fine, but this is gonna be great. <laughs> I once had a right Everything's about fine. I Welcome to Alaska, Mike Carey with Northwest Fishing. We've got a great show for you today. We are at Alaska Trophy Adventures Lodge, just north of Bristol Bay. There's gonna be a lot of great fishing, so stay tuned. One of Alaska's first ever designated wild and scenic rivers, the Alagnac River. And uh, it's, it's a real pleasure to have each and every one of you here. We got a little bit of an international crowd. Welcome everybody, we're really thrilled to have you here and I know you're gonna have a great week. You have a section of the river that we call the parades, but the, the river is known as the branch. Wow, what an awesome lodge. Yeah, we don't have the camel. Yeah, I hope so. Is she enough? Oh, thank you. I have a rope with you. You need to find out. Yeah. That's the way it is. Good morning. The adventure. Yeah. You guys ready? Adventure? Heck yeah. Tidewater? Oh, yeah. We're going low. All right. Yeah, get ready for the long journey. We, Let's uh, do it. Yeah, ready? absolutely. Big Chad's right over here. We'll take two of you guys this way, and I'll take Raven and Mike okay. over this way. We're getting ready for our long ride down, about an hour and a half. We're gonna stop about midway, refuel, and then we're gonna go as low as we can and try to find an open bar and swing for some salmon. It's go time, Tidewater day, baby. Let's do it. We got a little bit of a boat ride this morning. Yeah, we got about an hour boat ride. Oh. Yeah,
It's first lunch time. Time first lunch. <laughs> Wait. Dalai Lama. Let's start out with that. We're at a spot we call a leaning tree. This is the tidewater part of the Alagnac. Um, here the river is affected by the tides. It, it can actually slow down. The tides are so big that the river will actually slow down here. Uh, it won't totally dam up and go into a lake effect, but it will dam up or it will slow down. And uh, there's so many nice gravel sandbars down here to fish. Uh, all the fish are bright chrome, dime bright, and uh, hopefully we'll get some of those today. Well, that was an epic 40 mile run, Tyler. And we also have Wayne here, the owner of uh, Alaska Trophy Adventures Lodge. So we're here, what's the technique we're gonna use? Well, Mike, we're gonna walk out uh, about knee deep to start. We're gonna cast straight out a, and let a let fly swing. We're also gonna throw a little bit of gear at him, uh, see what we can pick up out there. All right. Wayne, you got any tips? Well, as you know, we've traveled a long way in the tide water and uh, a little bit of roll of the dice, you know, but I got a pretty good suspicion we're gonna have a chance of catching some chrome silver salmon that are coming in here. And uh, if it's on, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm feeling a lot better today. Towards the end of the day yesterday, Chad had me stand a little more square on and I was able to control my cast much better. And that seemed to keep my arm and my elbow from going too far back. I had been bringing it too far back. So once I squared up, my elbow kind of stops right about here and it, it keeps much better control with the fly. So I'm able to control that and set it down quite a bit better. <laughs> don't, don't hold it up, right? What do you got? Oh, uh, we just got a coho on. Boy, that's fun. So, oh, and we got a coho off. <laughs> it's incredible when they smack that on the fly, these rods are super sensitive. So you, you can feel every movement. Chrome hen right there. Well, that is why you go 40 miles down the Alagnac. Wow. Sea lice still on her. Oh Look man, at that. that's beautiful. Look Not at this. We really still got sea lice sitting on this one. That's a beautiful fish. That's heavy. Fresh. Fresh, yes sir. Yep. So we're gonna release the hens. We're only keeping bucks. But uh, what a fun fight. I'll just grab it all and hook it for you. Come on, sweetie. Oh, that's a chunk. Yeah, pink. 
Yeah. So that's actually a chum. You can see those stripes on there. Wow, that's a late season yeah. chum for this water, isn't it? Yeah, fresh chrome. That looked like a sailor when he jumped. There he goes. Awesome. Yeah, he did. That's yeah. that's the chromest uh, chum I've ever yeah. caught. <laughs> wow, like that's, a that's crazy. Nice work. Yeah, thank you. Get another one. For sure. Next. That's a little phone. Hooked up, huh? Yeah, it kind of comes back here. There we are. It does look like a chum. They're good fighting fish though. Oh, yeah. Travis, you like catching chum? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On the fly, it's a fight, oh, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> Shut up, Chad. <laughs> Made for TV, man. <laughs> we love chum. Heck yeah. Woo! We love chum. <laughs> No, it's a it's a kick. Oh, sweet. That's weird. Oh, not ready yet. Ooh, I'll get a little fire. <laughs> rodeo are getting yeah. tough. So you were saying earlier, it's really just, you want to wait for these fish to be ready to come in, right? Absolutely. You don't want to force them too hard, especially on the fly. Let them play, they play your game, don't play their game. Right. We got all the time in the world Absolutely. here, right? Absolutely. Pretty ready. There we are. Woo! Not a huge fish, man, but hard fighting. Absolutely. Not a bad looking fish either. No? No, you said at this point where we are down in the river, this is uh, kind of rare. You're yeah, not well, so many. not as many anymore. Especially sure. like the fresh one we caught earlier, and this one's not even all colored up yet either. Sure. You see, she's still got ages to go before she gets really colored up. Yeah. Well, then I'll get the fly out of her mouth. All right. You grab that, and I'll get a little picture here. So you have a recommendation on handling even the chum, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, with them, I just like to grab that tail mm -hmm. pretty hard. Mm -hmm. You can get a nice grasp with it sure. here. You got that tail? Yep. Perfect. We're so proud of you, Rob. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. Okay, good? Good. All right, we'll be back right after this with more Northwest fishing on the Alagnac River and Alaska Trophy Adventures.
<laughs> yeah! Man! That is wrong! I'm filming. Wow. That is one chrome coho. Thanks, sir. So how was how do you pick it up, Mike? I just slammed it. Nice. And what do you have on, on the rod, Mike? Yeah, so she came in on this morning's tide. She still got sea lice on her. Right there. Yeah. I thought steelhead were the fish of a thousand casts, but well, sometimes it's the coho. Today it's been silver for me. Yeah. That is about as pretty as they come. Okay, pictures, sure. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> a good reason to come to Alaska. Right there. Hold up. Set her in. Alright, let's let her go back. Do her thing. You ready? Boy, that's a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you very much for wiping the skunk off. Long time coming. Maybe there's a few out there now. It's just 49 miles one way. It's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Come all this way, we should at least cut some. We should get one. We're getting one. We're getting one. Like I said, the hole's been rest. Yep, we rest the pool. <laughs> All right, back to it. All right. What you got there, Paul? Woo! Got him! Alright guys, good job! It's been pretty amazing this week. I have really honed my fly fishing skills. Um, boy, I'm confident going back to Montana that I'm going to be a much better fly fisherman. Well, you know, a lot of people come up here and have never done it before. Maybe a little bit daunted about what fly fishing uh, means or what they expect or seen on you know TV or something. But you did a great job, and that's what we're here to do: show people how to do it. Of course, we mix it up a little bit with a little bit of gear fishing, a little bit of fly fishing. We caught fish either way. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to watch you guys pick it up and catch a bunch of fish. Your guides are amazing instructors. I mean, I really did learn a lot this yeah. week. Yeah. Well, I got to fish uh, behind you down in Tidewater a couple of days, and you were getting it out there, and it was great to see you catch that silver and uh, you know a few others too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a memory I'll have for a long time. <laughs> the Tidewater is a completely different experience than this upper river. Yeah, but that's something you offer to all your guests. Uh, when they're here during a time where it has the possibility of delivering sea lice fish just coming in from the ocean, you know we like to run down there. A little bit longer of a boat ride but sure. when you're catching fish that are just chrome as they can be just having arrived still with sea lice on it there's nothing like it so yeah it is something that we try and fit everyone into that schedule when it's happening down there sure and we saw a lot of wildlife yeah. i mean <laughs> between the bears and the eagles and uh, although we didn't see any moose this week that's a regular thing that we see here and it's part of what makes this place so magical you know sure. is to be in a remote setting Surrounded by the Katmai National Park and Preserve. The river itself is a wild and scenic river, a national monument, and it really is. I think what people are looking for when they think of Alaska, 
sure. you know, the remoteness, the natural beauty, the wildlife, and of course the fishing that's off the hook. And uh, we got to do a little bit of it all. Well, I really appreciate it. Rob, it's been a real pleasure yes, having sir. you. Yes. Mike as well. Thanks, Thank you Mike. very much for coming. Thank and uh, hopefully our paths will cross down the road. Wayne, if people at home want to learn more about Alaska Trophy Adventures, how do they do that? Well, you can Google ATA Lodge or Alaska Trophy Adventures Lodge. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Also, our website is www.atalodge.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you guys on the water.